Hello YouTube people, today I am gonna show you this 36mm Pagan design watch with blue dial and day and date complications. This is good watch, I haven't found a single quality control problem and it comes with sapphire crystal, sapphire cyclop, screw down crown, screw down case back, solid bracelet, solid handling, smelt clasp, stainless steel, I mean, and it costs around 100 euros. As always, from Pagan Design, value for money is just ridiculously good. And this watch looks rather interesting. So, let's take a better look. Interesting it does really look, because it's very eye-catchy watch, all shiny, and it does play in very interestingly in the light. Especially uh, this fluted bezel, this bracelet, also those Roman numerals, which I don't really like them. They are a little bit too big and too aggressive in my opinion for this small watch, but I can't deny that they look, a little, you know, they look fun. They they look fun in the light. They play sprinkle, sparkle and all that, but about that later on. Now, let's try the swatch on blue leather strap, blue dial, blue leather strap. How does it look together? Uh, it's not bad. It's actually not bad. Sometimes, you know, a very shiny bracelet, uh, a little bit too much. Sometimes I want something less shiny, less eye-catchy, and especially on a black leather strap like this, it looks very classy. Uh, it doesn't look elegant, but about that later on, but it looks good. You say it doesn't look elegant? What? Explain yourself. Why do you say this watch doesn't look elegant? Well, in my subjective opinion, for something to look elegant, that thing has to have certain level of simplicity and this watch I'm afraid it doesn't have that level of simplicity. Let me show you some examples. Uh, for example, let's take this Parnis 36 millimeters, very similar design, except it doesn't have day complication, it only has date complication. So why this Parnis is elegant and this Pagani isn't really, in my subjective opinion. Uh, look at this Parnis, it's all monotone, it's all simple. Even indexes, they're not trying to shout to be crazy, aggressive, anything. It's just simple stick indexes. And in my opinion, this Parnis is a rather elegant looking watch. And another example, this Boltony. Uh, it's a little bit kind of, you know, sporty looking watch slash dressy, but also look at those indexes. Small, tiny, cute. I mean, it's rather simple. It looks elegant. Now look at this Pagan design. Look at those indexes. I mean, they are all over the place. I, I don't mean in misalignment. In my, in my eyes, they look very well aligned. Everything is nice, but they take up so much space, they are so big in comparison of the size uh, of this watch. I mean, I don't know, I don't know, it's, it's just subjective personal opinion, but mm, I, I wouldn't call it elegant. I mean, look in comparison, I think, I believe this Pagan design will look a lot better if it would have just simple indexes like this Parnis. These Roman numeral sticks I am not sure about them. Yes, they shiny, sprinkly, sparkly, look playful, but elegant they do not. And I believe something more elegant would, would fit this watch a little bit better than something extra playful. So that's, that, that is just my personal opinion. Another thing which I'm not completely sure about is the color of this dial. You have to hit this dial with very specific uh, light angle to make it look playful and alive like like right now. But it doesn't really look like that in naturally in, in real life. And in my opinion, this blue dial is a little bit lifeless. Even though it has this interesting sunburst effect, I kind of wish it was just solid glossy finish blue dial or something like that. I don't know. I don't know. It's just in real life it looks a little bit dull. But okay, enough of my stupid subjective opinions. <laughs> Let's check the quality. How is the crown action? Let's start with the crown. 
screwing is wonderful screw in screw out no problems there um now let's set the time for example yeah crown action feels really good very well damped minute hand is a little bit fast but it doesn't feel jumpy whatsoever let's set on 45 push in everything stays in place very nice hold on a second why seconds hand is not going i have worn this watch all day long what what why it is not going have i broke the watch let's push in the crown again hold on a second let me wind it up a little bit okay let's screw in the crown hold on a second why it's not going again what's what's wrong with this watch hold on a second let's shake it a little bit it's right on 12 let's shake it again have we broke watch just on the video oh, oh what oop oop and hmm i don't know what was there i'm not really sure about that i have set the time yesterday and i worn this watch today and everything was fine and the time is accurate this this is the first time the this happened i really don't know what was that let's try again let's screw the crown out okay let's set the time once again 45 minutes press in minute hand stays in oh, hold on a sec um something is off it shouldn't behave like that come on pull the crown out let's set it i don't know let's let's flip the date or something i mean okay come on come on come on okay and seconds hand jumps a little bit it, does, it doesn't start going what the hell it is definitely fully wound it's definitely fully wound hold on a second oh it's one of those it's one of those oh okay okay i'm glad i got this on camera i'm glad i got this on camera so I, I, all i can say that this watch was going just perfectly fine accurately everything is fine but what has just happened i have no idea maybe it's just completely new watch it needs to run in a little bit but you know, i don't know you see everything for yourself i can't really tell you hold hold on a second. let's try this the watch is going what if i bump it a little bit still going i keep bumping it and it stopped now it's going so i can't really stop it by bumping but i can make it go if it's stuck huh okay 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 sorry let's try again push pull the crown out all the way set the time wherever the time push the crown in okay this time is okay i don't know maybe this watch ne needs a little bit of running i mean i have worn this watch just for one day and i have the set the time only once so maybe it just needs a little bit of you know a bit of love anyway let's move on now let's see how the date flips um uh, okay let's go to 10 p.m friday 23rd now it's 11 p.m date starts flipping date is flipping 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 let's see how far from midnight oh pretty close pretty close to the midnight now the day now the day starts flipping flips in the middle and and okay so while you're sleeping it flips the day as well so interesting functionality let's see if the second scan goes oh okay maybe it's just one time off i don't know i don't know if you have a watch like this tell me tell me if you have the same problem with seconds hand getting stuck or something because people who want to buy this watch you really want to know how is the quality so they're gonna read the comments so if you have a watch like this please tell me in the comments how does your watch behave does your minute hand get stuck as well not minutes sorry seconds now 
uh, about the rotor. Oh, hold on, let's peel off this sticker. Fresh. Hold on a second. Yeah, untouched. I really appreciate the extra effort on the rotor, adding some kind of decoration. I do like that. I, I remember my first automatic which was in Victor Pro Diver with that blue rotor and I remember how much I liked it because it's different. So I know many people are gonna love this rotor. It does look good. I mean I'm not sure about yellow letters. I wish they were not yellow, maybe no color whatsoever. It's just personal taste but nice, nice. I give Pagan Design, a plus for, for the effort to make it look good. Okay, how is the case? The case edges, bottom edges as usual are a little bit sharp. But can't complain about anything else. Everything looks alright. Now enough about the watch, let's look at the, at the bracelet. I know what people are complaining, that this is rather big clasp for such a small watch, I mean look, clasp is almost as big as the watch itself, but, but, listen, listen, this watch costs around 100 euros, and for this price, this clasp is actually very good, solid, nailed clasp, it doesn't make any funny noises, it feels sturdy, strong, edges, well, a little bit unrefined, but I wouldn't call them sharp, yes, it has this stupid divers extension uh, but but listen uh, if they would be making different clasps for each of their models different that would significantly increase the price I believe so if they can make this watch at this price that it is using this clasp I'm perfectly fine with that because quality is actually pretty good pretty good it doesn't make funny noises it feels good so I, I can't really complain. Now, the bracelet. Uh, edges also, they are not sharp. I definitely wouldn't call them sharp. Inside links are also not sharp. But in terms of refinement, it's not the best. You know, it's not the best. It definitely feels like sub 100 euro something thing. Yeah. There is a lot of room, room for improvements. Let's, let's say that. But... It doesn't, it doesn't feel uncomfortable, it doesn't pull here, it's not too sharp, so I, I give it a pass, it's okay, it's okay. Also has solid end links, and everything comes together nicely, so it's okay. Now the conclusions, where I'm gonna place this watch on my website, thomaswatchreviews.com, where I rate watches into different tier lists. Ah, uh, it's a little bit complicated this time. Initially, I was thinking about uh, between keepers and not bad. I mean, technically, it kind of should go into keepers because it's small, expensive looking, pretty good watch with good value for money. But I'm just not sure about those Roman numerals looking a little bit big and aggressive and blue dial looking a little bit lifeless. So I was actually thinking about putting this watch into not bad. But right now, with seconds hand getting stuck sometimes when I push in the crown and it just doesn't go, I'm afraid I have to put this watch into no tier. I mean, I'm afraid to recommend this watch. Maybe it's just one off, one off bad. Maybe it just needs a little bit of run in. Maybe you're gonna get another watch that just I'm gonna start even if you bump this watch. I mean, I'm not sure what to do. I, I'm gonna put this watch into no tier because of that, because it's just too questionable. I mean, I have to smack this watch into my palm just to start it going. That's not good. Yeah. You know what? I never had, I never had a single problem with the Sparnes and it's not even Miyota movement. It's that Shenzhen, Shenzhen, some, it's not Miyota, it's the second option. So if you want something like this, I do strongly recommend this Sparnes. I uh, never had a single problem. And in my opinion, it looks a lot better than this Pagan design. It's just too complicated. This day on top of the dial, it's a little bit of those Roman numerals, a little bit too aggressive. Just by partners, okay? 
this is Keeper. Parnas is Keeper. Pagan design sadly goes into no tier. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day. Goodbye.